Hello, how are you? Is everybody okay? Did you all have a nice weekend? I hope so. Uh, I hope you're all doing okay. And uh, I hope you're continuing to study. Okay, it's very important to keep practicing English, all right, so we don't forget. Okay, anyway, so um, if everybody's good, we can start the class for today. Now, Today, we're going to be doing the uh, People's Book, all right, and we are on page 87, okay, page 87 here, all right, now, um, what it is, is going to be a listening activity, all right, so let's have a look, page 87, it should be unit, uh, yeah, unit 7, lesson 5, okay, listening, now, it says here, you're going to hear someone talk about coaching young footballers. What do you think young players need to be successful? Right, three ideas. Okay, well, we won't do that just yet. Um, but what I want you to do is have a look at the pictures, okay? Now, this looks like he's the coach, this person, and these are the players. Now, the coach is the person who trains the team, okay? A coach, for example, some famous coaches in football, Pep Guardiola, Jose Mourinho. Okay, um, those are two of the most famous ones. All right, so those are coach. So this is talking about coaching, right? So that's the verb, coaching young footballers. All right. Now, if you notice in the um, in the box here, we have a bit of we have some vocabulary words. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to copy these vocabulary words into our notebook. So let's open our notebook. All right. And the title today, we'll have the title here, it can be uh, Coaching the Best. I just invented the title, okay? Coaching the Best, all right? So, uh, right, that is your title. The date today is Tuesday, the 28th of April, 2020. Okay, so copy this in the notebook. And um, we're going to be on page 87 vocab, right? So we write that here. And what I've done is, so I've written all the words, the vocabulary words, and a sentence, a phrase using that word, okay? So you can copy down the words and copy the phrase next to the word, okay? And it'll help you uh, get an idea of the meaning of the word. So let's have a look. Amateur. Uh, okay, the word amateur. Amateur athletes don't make money from sport. All right, you have amateur and professional. Before you are professional, you are an amateur. Okay, so a lot of young people, maybe football players who are like 16, 15 years old, these are amateurs and they do not get paid to play football. Okay, but then you become professional, you sign a contract and you get money. All right, a career. What is a career? David Beckham, if you know David Beckham, the football player, had a 15-year career as a football player. So your career is your working, is what you do for work, okay, over a long period of time, your career, okay? So, for example, I have a, a career as a teacher. I've been teaching for over 10 years, so I have more than a 10-year career, all right? Um, the next word, injured. The tennis player is injured, he's broken his arm, right? Injured is when you hurt yourself. The word in Spanish is lesionado, okay? So when you're injured, okay, so you, maybe you break your arm, break your leg. Okay, let's look at the next word. Professional, you know the word professional. Professional athletes make money from playing sports, right? So it's the opposite of amateur, right? Professional athletes make money. Okay, talent. Similar word in Spanish, your talent is your natural ability, okay? To be a professional basketball player, you need a lot of talent, right? You need a lot of natural ability, talent. And finally, team spirit, okay? So this team spirit is the attitude and the feeling you have in your team, okay? Team spirit. The volleyball team have a lot of team spirit. They are motivated. Okay, so if you have a lot of team spirit, you motivate your other the other people in the team, you have a positive attitude, 
okay? Team spirit. So let's copy these uh, phrases and the words into our notebook, okay? And you can pause the video while you do this. All right, have you finished? Okay, so let's go back to our pupils book. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, listen to an interview, okay? Um, we're going to listen to an interview with a coach and um, I think his name is Tony, okay? So we're going to listen to an interview with Tony. Now, in the interview, uh, we have to do this exercise three, okay, while we're listening. So it says, so we're, gonna, we're not going to do exercise two. Exercise three, okay, it says circle the six things that Tony says he needs from a young player. Okay, so here we have a bunch of qualities, okay, some words. And uh, as we listen, we have to think, what does Tony need from a young player? Right, so the first, the example that's given us is talent, right? So he needs talent. So he will say in the interview, he needs talent from young players. What other things does he need, right? There are six in total. Okay, so check you understand the words. Perseverance, okay, when you, when you keep going, even when it's difficult. Fitness, mental toughness, team spirit, talent, hard work, confidence, endurance, Love of the sport, when you really love the sport. Self-control, athletic ability, and intelligence. Okay? So, let's listen, and you circle the six qualities that he needs from a young player. Okay, are you ready? All right, so let's listen. Welcome to our podcast, Sporting Chances. Last week, we spoke to football coach Tony Thompson and asked him what it took to be a professional footballer. Let's listen to what he <coughs> had to say. Tony, you specialise in training young players for a career in football. That's right. I've trained many players who are now professional footballers. What's the best age to get into a training program? Generally, about eight or nine, but we don't rule out older players. What do you look for in a player? Well, I'm looking for six things. First, talent, a natural ability to play the game. That's the most important thing? You can't be a successful footballer without it. But it's not enough on its own. Second, and this seems obvious, but not everyone who's good at football feels it, they have to love the sport. It's not a hobby. We train for hours and hours. Every time they come onto the field, they have to feel excited about playing. Because if they're not enjoying themselves, they won't make progress. So it's hard work. Yes. That's the third thing. They need to be ready to work really hard. Even when they don't feel like it. That's the difference between an amateur and a professional. Everyone can have fun playing football. But as a professional, you have to put football first. Someone once asked me how often he needed to practice. I told him, every day. And the fourth thing? Is a tough mental attitude. Sometimes you get injured or your team isn't playing well. Whatever happens, it's important that you stay focused and enthusiastic. Fifth? You must have team spirit. When we watch football matches, Sometimes it seems like the person scoring the goal is the hero. He did it all himself. That's never true. He can't score unless he's got his team supporting him. Everyone plays an important part, and players need to recognise that. You asked if talent was the most important thing. I think team spirit is almost as important. 
And finally, you need to think intelligently. You have to analyze the game. Football isn't just kicking a ball. It's about understanding how people think, what they'll do, your own team, and the opposition. The best players in the world understand this. That's a big part of why they're the best. Fascinating. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Did you manage to circle the six things? Okay, did you hear? All right, so you can pause the video, go back and listen again, okay? And check your answers. So let's see, what were the six things that he needs? All right, so he needs talent. What else do you need from a young football player? You need love of the sport. You need hard work, mental toughness, team spirit, and intelligence. Okay. Talent, love, sport, hard work, mental toughness, team spirit, and intelligence. Okay. Um, so make sure you, did you get those correct? Did you understand? Okay. Make sure you circle the correct ones in your, in your pupil's book. Okay. Very good. Let's continue. So now what we're going to do is we're going to listen again and we have some of these, uh, so we have some sentences that we have to match. Okay. Now these sentences are, are reported. Okay. So it's not the exact words that he says. All right. But if we understand, we'll be able to make the sentences. All right. Let's look at the example. So the interviewer, right, the person making the interview, the interviewer asked if talent was the most important thing for a footballer. Okay. So let's have a look at the other options. All right. Number two, Tony said, right, that without talent, okay, which is the correct ending. Number three, Tony said, you won't make progress. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, number four, to cope with being injured or losing. Number five, team spirit, team spirit means working together and... Mm -mm. And other players will be better than you. Mm -mm. Okay. So we're going to listen again. And we're going to try and complete the sentences, okay? So you have to listen carefully, all right, what Tony says. Now, um, what we can do, right, to check, all right, is we'll highlight the things, right, the words, the phrases that, we'll, uh, that we have to listen for for the answers, okay? So for number two, for example, it says, Tony said that without talent, right? So we have to listen for the phrase without talent, and then we'll see what he says afterwards. Number three, you won't make progress, right? So we listen for this phrase, and we see what he said, we see what he says. To cope with being injured or losing. Okay, so we're listening for the phrase. Team spirit, working together. And other players will be better than you, okay? So we're going to listen for these things and see what he says afterwards, all right? So let's listen again. Welcome to our podcast, Sporting Chances. Last week, we spoke to football coach Tony Thompson and asked him what it took to be a professional footballer. Let's listen to what he had to say. Tony, you specialise in training young players for a career in football. That's right. I've trained many players who are now professional footballers. What's the best age to get into a training programme? Generally, about eight or nine. But we don't rule out older players. What do you look for in a player? Well, I'm looking for six things. First. Talent. A natural ability to play the game. That's the most important thing? You can't be a successful footballer without it. But 
it's not enough on its own. Second, and this seems obvious, but not everyone who's good at football feels it, they have to love the sport. It's not a hobby. We train for hours and hours. Every time they come onto the field, they have to feel excited about playing. Because if they're not enjoying themselves, they won't make progress. So it's hard work. <coughs> yes. That's the third thing. They need to be ready to work really hard. Even when they don't feel like it. That's the difference between an amateur and a professional. Everyone can have fun playing football, but as a professional, you have to put football first. Someone once asked me how often he needed to practice. I told him, every day. And the fourth thing? Is a tough mental attitude. Sometimes you get injured or your team isn't playing well. Whatever happens, it's important that you stay focused and enthusiastic. Fifth? <coughs> you must have team spirit. When we watch football matches, sometimes it seems like the person scoring the goal is the hero. He did it all himself. That's never true. He can't score unless he's got his team supporting him. Everyone plays an important part, and players need to recognise that. You asked if talent was the most important thing. I think team spirit is almost as important. And finally? You need to think intelligently. You have to analyse the game. Football isn't just kicking a ball. It's about understanding how people think, what they'll do, your own team and the opposition. The best players in the world understand this. That's a big part of why they're the best. Fascinating. Thanks, Tony. You're welcome. OK, good. So, let's see if we can match up the phrases, OK? Did you manage to do, do all the phrases? Now, you can listen again if you really want to, all right? OK, let's have a look at the answers. So, let me just put them over here. Oh. Okay. Get the answers. All right. So, so the first one. Okay, the interviewer asked if talent was the most important thing for a footballer. Okay, number two, Tony said that without talent, without talent, what's the answer? Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to put it. I'm just going to draw lines. So. Without talent, what's the answer? You couldn't be a successful player. Okay, so without talent, you couldn't be a successful player. All right, did you get that? All right, make sure we correct any mistakes. Number three, Tony said you won't make progress. You won't make progress if you don't love playing football. Okay. Did you get that one? Okay, make sure you put the corrections. Number four, to cope with being injured or losing... You need to be tough mentally. Okay, did you get that one? Very good. Team spirit means working together and appreciating that everyone is valuable. Good. And the last one, other players will be better than you. If you don't analyze the game. Okay, so did you get all of the answers? Okay, no problem if not. Okay, make sure you have all the corrections. Okay, if it was difficult, 
right? You can repeat the exercise, right? Look at the answers, repeat the exercise and listen for the phrases, all right? So you can understand. Good. So if you finish this, um, I'd like to go back to the notebook. So let's go back to our notebook. And um, so I've got one question for you guys to answer. All right, and you can write this down as well. In your opinion, what are the five most important qualities for young athletes, okay? So this is in your opinion. So there's no correct or incorrect answers, okay? It's whatever you think. But uh, I'd be curious to know. So you can look at the words here, okay? These are the different qualities, okay? Have a look and think to yourself, what are the five most important ones for young athletes, okay? In your opinion, all right? And you can make a list here. All right, so maybe confidence, maybe hard work, maybe talent, okay, whatever you think. What are the five most important ones? Okay, uh, write those in your notebook, please. Okay, very good. All finished. Now, uh, you can, so I can check, you can send a picture to the, to e by email or by WhatsApp, okay, so that we can check. Good. So let's have a quick look over here. All right, and we are going to go to the uh, to the notebook, okay, uh, to the activity book. So on the activity book, uh, we're on page seventy six, okay, uh, page seventy six, and it's lesson five, right? Unit seven, lesson five, and we're just going to do one little exercise here, okay. All right, so. Um, what this is, this is a blog from a football player, okay? Um, so what I need you to do is, okay, so we're going to read through this, all right? And you have to try and think of a word to complete the gaps, okay? You have to think of the word. Now, you don't have a list of words, all right? So you just have to think which word you could use there. And they may be words to do with uh, to do with sports, like we've just had a look at, or they may be small grammatical words, okay, or or just common common verbs. All right, the best way to do this is to read through and think what word comes to your head naturally. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, before I put this, so what I'd like you to do, now I know it may be difficult, all right, but we can try. So go through the exercise, read through, okay, and uh, and see if you can find the words to complete the phrases, okay? So just what comes to your head naturally, what do you think? You can pause the video and take a few minutes to finish this exercise. Okay. All right, so if you've all finished, we can we can have a go at correcting, okay? So I'll move this over here. Uh, oh, what's going on? Okay, so, all right, so we've got our answers here. All right, so let's go through. All right, um, now if you didn't get any answers, we can write them as we as we correct. All right, so it says, "My name is Joe Smith, and I play for an amateur football team twice a week. We have been playing very well. Yeah, so it's a little grammatical word. We've been playing very well, and last week we were on TV. The presenter mm -hmm, that we had won all our matches." The presenter said that we had won all our matches recently. She asked how we mm, achieved that, how we had achieved that. The coach, mm, her, we had a lot of talent in the team. The coach told her we had a lot of talent in the team. The presenter asked us, if we trained hard. I said that we did. Mm, the most important thing, and the most important thing 
was our m mm spirit. Team spirit, very good. She asked me what mm, my future plans were. She asked me what my future plans were. I said my aim was to move on from amateur to professional football and to have a career in football either as a player mm, as a trainer or as a trainer okay so did you get any correct all right hopefully it wasn't too difficult all right if it was difficult don't worry put in the correct answers and then read again and try to understand the different phrases okay so you can see why that word is the correct word all right so write in the correct answers and then read again and make sure you understand it all okay it is a difficult exercise all right but it'll help us improve all right now if you found it difficult what you can do is write the answers okay and then rub them out and then try and do the exercise again and just try and remember the words okay this will also help you all right so you can repeat the exercise look at the answers and then repeat the exercise okay and you can try and do it from memory this will help you okay remember the little words and phrases all right okay very good uh, see what time are we on okay good so um i think we can finish the class there today okay now um when we do the class on thursday uh, we'll have a look at writing this short email okay um but yes uh, otherwise yeah so as long as we have page 76 exercise one okay and uh and then we have in the pupils book page 87 all right we should have exercise three and four completed all right and then we should have uh this written in our notebook with uh, your answers to the five most important qualities for young athletes. Okay. So um, make sure you finish all that. And yeah, and that's it for today. Okay. So uh, hopefully it was okay. And um, yeah, good job. Keep studying. And I will see you on Thursday. Okay. Have a nice evening and bye bye.